Hi, I'm Knut. I'm a developer advocate at Santi.io. In this tutorial, we will be making a custom asset source plugin using the webcam. And we will override what happens when you push this select button. It will load this component using the webcam. Hello. You can take a photo and you can upload this photo to the asset pipeline like this. So let's get started. This is the blog studio, but you can use any studio, uh, preferably your own studio. And what we are trying to do is to add a um, another option to this select button in the image field. We want to do this as sort of a plugin. And uh, to get a head start, we can use the CLI to bootstrap a plugin for us. So let's quit this dev process and write sanity in it plugin. And this will give us some choices. And we don't have like a asset source plugin starter yet. So we can use the basic empty tool. And we will call it asset source webcam. and we want to enable it. What this did was to add some files to the plugins folder and add the plugin name to the plugins array in Sanity JSON. So it's loaded when we start the studio. And we can just start the studio just to see what happened really. So it's compiling, restarting, right. What this did was to add this button in the top bar and load this uh, rat component that we have in, in here. But this isn't what we want. We want a asset source. So we have to rewrite this a bit to, to make it work as an asset source. The first thing we want is to implement this plugin as the correct part, because the studio is um, really a collection of different parts that you can overwrite uh, if you want. And those parts are defined in the sanity JSON files. So now we have two sanity JSON files here. We have one in the kind of the root folder for the studio and one inside the asset source folder in the plugins. And here we have this implements part sanity based tool. So this is what tells the studio to load this code as a tool and the path to the plugin uh, code. Now, this is the second time I'm making a asset source plugin. So I have to look up in the documentation to what to actually uh, write there. So let's go to the documentation. And here we have some instructions. And this is what we want to, to copy. And you can see if you, if you write a plugin as TypeScript or something, we can add this source and compiled to tell the studio where to look for the production code. But we are just going to make an easy JavaScript React example here. So we don't need to compile it really. That means that we can use only this part of the code. And first we are going to just copy paste this implements string like this. And we can see that we Im are implementing the part for the asset source here. But we also have to give it this a name in order to reference it elsewhere. So I'm going to copy paste this. And this is for the Unsplash plugin. So we have to replace this with our own name. So I will call it webcam because that's what we are making. And let's get rid of this. So we have the name, we have the implements to tell which part of the studio it should like tap into. And we have the path to the file. Cool. Now we can go into this index file and see what happens there. So here we have kind of the configuration for the plugin. Uh, we have a title, a name, an icon, and the actual code component and the actual plugin component. So let's change this webcam. 
webcam the icon this is an svg and in this example let's just replace this with a simple emoji camera let's use a flash right. save this and this is saved and now this should be ready sort of to uh, uh, at least test if it loads correctly but before we can actually test it we have to implement it or we have to add it to a image field and there's different ways of doing that you can do it globally or you can do it for a specific image field and in this case let's go with a specific image field so we have this author document type and the author has an image and it makes sense to add the webcam capabilities to the author image right so first we have to import the asset source component import webcam from and this is where we need to use the name that we gave it so in this sanity json we had this name and this string is what we are going to import so copy pasted that and paste it in here like this and then we can go down to the image field and if we take a look here in the documentation we have using sources on a single type and we have options sources and an array because you can have different sources right and the component so sources and webcam so this is what we imported here and save and let's look if this works actually so let's go to the author let's create a new author that's me right and yeah when i push the select button we now have this we now loaded this uh, code and this is actually this code right can delete this text and this will be the webcam selector right now we are ready to actually make the asset source plugin We have some boilerplate here, and this is a React class component, but it's 2019, so we may want to do, use React hooks and all that cool new stuff. So let's go ahead and delete some of this code and add a function called webcam source. It has some props and we can return just a div for now oops i have to actually write it properly export default webcam source so now we have a basic write component that should work and hello webcam let's just make sure that it actually works so if i go down here we should see yeah it works it loads right but we want a dialogue um a full screen dialogue to be exact and we can use the one that's in the studio already and again let's go back to the documentation and here we have sort of this example of a component and here we have the dialogue and we are going to refer to this example a bit more because it has some handy things so let's import this dialogue and replace this with that and i think i have to add some props here so the dialogue has let's use do this and this and this it has a title take a photo and it needs to 
know what it should do when you close it. So we have this handle close here and we can see that it just loads this props on close. So props on close should be sufficient here and is open like this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so now we have this full screen dialog and we can actually also close it. Cool. So the web API, the browser API has a way to tap into the webcam and we could write this from scratch, but why do that when somebody else has done the work for us? Uh, and I know that there's this React webcam uh, component that we can get. This one, that looks like something that we can use. And in order to use this, we have to e add it as a dependency to our project. And now you can choose if you want to add your own package JSON inside the plugin folder, if you plan to, for example, publish this plugin on NPM. But for this example, I'm just, I'm just going to add these dependencies to the studio package JSON. So in this case, I will use Yarn, but you can use NPM uh, if you want, add React webcam. Loads of warnings, now it's loaded. I will start the studio again. And I should be able to import the webcam here. Like this. And replace this text with the webcam component. And there I am. Hello. We have we have an image. Cool. So we have a webcam, we have the dialogue, and now we need a way to actually get the image from the webcam back to the image uh, field here. Let's go back to the documentation. So here we have um, a handle select function. And uh, it takes uh, a kind of value and some options with some info. We don't have a URL in this case. Uh, we have the value of the whatever the webcam is showing. We need to be able to capture uh, an image from the webcam. And we can see it in this documentation for React webcam that they have actually an example of how to capture the, the image source data. And uh, we can just go ahead and actually copy this. So let's start with the video constraints. This is kind of the config for how the webcam should capture the video. So it, what kind of dimensions and if you are on a phone, what what um, which of the cameras you should use. So the user facing camera, for example. So let's go and add this prop to the webcam component. Oops. I should have installed prettier for this project, but I haven't. So let's do this by hand. And we don't want audio in this case. So let's put that as false. I guess we can give it some dimensions. and the screenshot format can be, uh, let's do a JPEG. 
like this, and it wants a ref. So we have to add a ref. So const webcam ref react use ref null. I could, of course, just copy paste this, but for this kind of code, I prefer to actually type it out just to get a feel for how it works. Cam ref. So now we want to add the some kind of capture handler. So they call it just capture here, but I will call it handle capture like this. And this use a React use callback hook that takes a function, the const image source. So we use the reference here. So this means go to the current like webcam component and run the get screenshot function on that and return the data. And then we need to add the webcam ref like this. So that should be ready. And then they have this button to actually capture the photo. So they are using just the HTML element button, but we have buttons in the studio. So let's use one of those buttons. So button from part at sanity components buttons and default button. I think this should work. <laughs> and then we can go down here and we can say button on click that's the handle capture and take a photo. That should be the text like this. But now we need to get to this image source data. So we can use, uh, we can set it to state perhaps. So let's add some state. So let's call this image source and set, that's confusing. Let's call it image data instead, just to have a differentiator here. Set image data and this use the react use state hook and it's just an empty string. And then we can go inside here and we can say set image data image source like this and then we want to just confirm that we are actually capturing something so image data like this just print it out directly and then we can go back to the studio, push select. Now we have a huge <laughs> image here. Um, perhaps I should just reduce it to, what is it? 480 by, is it 600? That's better. And uh, let's take a photo. Oh, so there's the data string that we actually got from the photo. And we got an extra S here. So let's remove that. Uh, what's cool is that you now can actually uh, put this string inside a image element. So if there is any image data, load an image data element and the source is the image data. I guess we should have an old text. That's not a helpful old text, but 
There you go. So let's see where we have the webcam, take a photo, and here we have the current photo. Cool. Nice. And what we now need is to have a way to return this data to the image uh, field component. And again, this example shows us that we have in props something called onSelect, and then we will return an array because you can actually return multiple images, uh, I think. And in this array, we have an object that has the image data. So let's begin with adding the handle select thing. So that runs props on select an array. The kind here is, let's see, it's a base64 data string. And the value is the image data that we set to, to state. And I guess we can add some options as well. So original file name. So since this is not a file, we have to sort of make a file name for it. And we can do it like this, so webcam. And let's, for example, use the, the date. And then JPEG. And I guess we can set this source as well. My webcam. So this should be sufficient. And then we can go ahead and add a new button to actually select. And I think it makes sense to add it here where we know we have the image data like this. Use this photo. And run the handle select function like this. Let's try this out. So select, take the photo. I'm happy with this. And it works. Cool. Oh, uh, I wish I was more photogenic. So yeah, cool. So now we have our own custom asset source plugin. And of course you should go ahead and make this actually beautiful. This is kind of just a proof of concept. I look forward to see what you will make out of this. Thanks for watching and see you in cyberspace.